Hi, I'm Coach Stansfield. Today we're going to be talking about basic terminology as it relates to our offense. It's very important that throughout the season that we're able to communicate with each other using the same terminology so in the limited time we have on the sidelines we can make play calls and other adjustments based on our communications. The first thing we're going to talk about today is gap identification. Gap identification is done all in letters. So, the, between the center and the guard, we call that the A gap. Between the guard and the tackle, we call that the B gap. Tackle, tight end, C gap, anything outside the tight end is the D gap. It is the same way to the right as it is to the left. So, A gap, B gap, C gap, D gap. Oftentimes you'll hear us talk about the strong side A gap, or the back side B gap, or the plus A gap, or the minus B gap or C gap. How that's determined is direction of play. So if the play is going to the right, is indicated by this arrow. This, the right side, is considered the plus side, or the strong side of the play. Conversely, the left side would be considered the minus side. If the play were going left, then the plus side or the strong side would be considered to the left, and the back side or the minus side would be considered to the right. The next thing we're going to talk about today is D-line technique, or defenders who line up on the ball, how do, we, how, how do we classify their alignments? These could be anyone from a down defensive lineman, a walk-up backer, or even a walk-up defensive back. This is all communicated by single digits. So, if a defender is lined up, head up, over the center, nose to nose, my nose on his nose, we call that a zero technique. If he's lined up to on the shoulder of the center, we call that a one technique. Head up on the guard is called a two technique. Outside shade on the guard is called a three technique. Inside shade on the guard is a two designated with an I, which means inside, we'll say two I. This is the same both ways. I'm just trying to get as much information without it being cluttered for you. A head up on a tackle is a four. Outside shade on a tackle is a five. Inside shade on a tackle is a four eye. Makes sense so far. Now this is where it gets tricky. Head up on a, on a tight end is called a seven technique. Inside shade, however, is a six eye going with the pattern. And anything outside a tight end is a down on the ball defender is known as a nine technique. The last thing we'll talk about today is linebacker technique, identifying where linebackers are. In order to be identified as a linebacker, they must be at linebacker depth, which is three to five yards away from the line of scrimmage. A zero technique linebacker or a head up linebacker is known as a zero technique, just like a nose. If he's shaded to one side or the other, that's a 10 technique. So take the one, Add a zero, a 10 technique. Inside shade of the guard is a 20 technique. Head up to inside shade is a 20. Outside shade is a 30. Head up to inside of the tackle is a 40. And outside shade of the tackle is a 50. Anything more outside than the tackles are not called in the box as a run, as a, as a run defender so we will consider them force and handle them with backs or with pullers. So we do not have to identify their technique. So again, today, we've gone over gap technique. Gaps are identified by letters. Defensive line technique, identified by single digits. And linebacker technique, identified by double digits. 